happy America, everybody. We have hope for our country because this is Javad. He's a homeowner. I just showed up on site. I'm starting to do some analysis for him. And he's got a radon problem that is fueling a lot of his home improvements that he's working on. I'm just going to let him tell it from here. Brand new home, first owner. Um, had a passive radon vent. You can see here, radon was around uh, 20 to 30 picocuries per liter. Ended up installing a fan making this system active, which dropped it down to about 10, um, which still is not okay to me. Uh, actually, per EPA standard, I think is four. I still think that's too high. Yeah. Ended up installing an ERV, which brought it down below 10. You installed this yourself. I installed this myself. Because you couldn't get an HVAC guy to give you a bit on Correct. it. Correct. Yeah. So okay. I installed Beautiful. this myself. Good job. Um, following some guidance from you, you know, um, as far as connecting all that with more than six inch going to eight inch. Uh -huh. um, so there's no restriction in flow, but that further lowered radon down to, as you can see here, um, two to four ish, but I want it to be even lower than that. So my thought uh, was to, this is what I was just previously, previously talking to you about, was to pull air through the cinder block wall all the way around well, the let's, outside of the house. Yeah, let's go look at this because I don't think that people will understand exactly what's going on here. So we've got passive radon slash active radon pulling sub slab, but cinder block wall. And over here, you can't see what's going on with the cinder block. You can build a cinder block wall where it's just empty. You just stack them on top of each other. You can also build it where you fill every single cell. And when you've got this, that's what it would look like if it was filled. That's what it looks like if it's actually left. So my thought was to close cell foam, the cinder block wall, putting half inch or three quarter inch pecs um, into that closed cell foam and then hooking all that up to some sort of a vacuum that just exits the house. Um, wanted to get your feedback on that. Am I crazy? Am I not? I don't know. <laughs> pecs is actually like a really good idea for this. Here's what I would say, which is like a thing that can work. Instead of trying to use closed cell foam, you could actually just take a bat of insulation stuff it into a plastic bag and then shove it down into the cavity and then just put concrete like a some kind of a filler and on they top. make all kinds of on top yeah so the the idea is that you get the air tight seal there the insulation itself is not important it's that it's going to expand in there like a foam would yeah. but foam is really difficult like you're gonna have to do something to shove something yeah. down there so that's like an easy trick Insulation shoved in a plastic bag, shoved into a cavity, that always works. My plan was to use newspaper, actually, to just hold the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. closed cell phone. Just bad, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. A, like a fire starter. So um, that's, that's bad. We should knock on wood, wherever yeah. that is. Yeah. Uh, okay, so basically, um, this idea of using pecs to connect is brilliant because it's basically a tiny duct. You can get it easily. You can get all the connections right. easily. Uh, you wouldn't have to have it be watertight. Yeah. Right? So it's like, you know, you don't have to do a good job installing it, really. Uh, I would say that probably the amount of vacuum that you could get at the far end with a radon fan yep. might be minimal. But, like, we could do some calculations on Correct. that. I don't... And you're an industrial. He's an industrial. Are you an engineer? I'm an engineer. I'm an electrical engineer. So have you done the calculation on that? I've done some brief calculations, yes, based on that. And my plan is to actually, if I need to, use an additional... Um, vacuum pump to then push into there, but th there are going to be some restrictions. And I've already thought about this, which is why I actually have different size pecs sitting there. Three quarter inch down to quarter inch um, was for that exact reason. Okay, great. But before I installed anything, I wanted to just talk with you about it. And and, and so the much. ERV's job is not to dilute the air in general because you've got odor problems or anything. It's only because you've got this radon problem. Correct. Correct. And and no matter how hard you drive that fan, that is going to continue to be a problem until Correct. he fixes it. I did notice that if I put the ERV um, into its maximum CFM setting, it does keep the radon down. But during those times, you know, a couple days after a rain, the radon will still get up to like two or three hmm. um, pico curies per liter. So um, it's just not enough. So, I mean, if I can seal the exterior of, of the house of, of like the basement, 
and it further reduces it, I mean, that's even better. I've thought about this radon rain thing, and uh, it occurs to me that it's maybe a little bit like you're putting a radon barrier, like a vapor barrier over the outdoor ground. So then the radon doesn't have any place to go except for where it's dry, which Correct. happens to be underneath your house. Yep. Is that your understanding? That, that, that's my understanding. If you guys are, if anybody radon out there who's specializing in this, um, that's something that I think a lot of people have noticed is that after a rain, the radon thing changes. And I think that that might be why. So, um, so if we could just figure out how to make the ground underneath your house more wet. I know, right? That would fix the problem. So great job with your ERV in here, man. I mean, like seeing all the work that he put into running these ducks, that's, he's got all of his equipment over here so you learned how to be an HVAC installer I did I did I'm a so I'm a degree engineer electrical I knew nothing about HVAC stuff and I had to figure it out you know because I couldn't find anybody else in my area that would even listen to me they would look at me like I'm crazy you know like why do you need this or yep we don't do that around here yeah so cool you guys keep up the good work because honestly the people in this audience and the people in our patreon group are like some of the best applied scientists in the country so if you want to talk to each other, again, you can go over that Patreon group, but um, just keep experimenting, keep learning, YouTube University, like and subscribe, tune in next time.